reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds about the kingdom of God, and he healed those who needed to be cured. As the day was drawing to a close, the twelve approached him and said, Dismiss the crowd, that they can go to the surrounding villages and farms and find lodging and provisions, for we are in a deserted place here. He said to them, Give them some food yourselves. They replied, Five loaves and two fish are all we have, unless we ourselves go and buy food for all these people. Now the men alone numbered about 5,000. Then he said to his disciples, Have them sit down in groups of about 50. They did so, and they all sat down. Then taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing over them, broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd. They all ate and were satisfied, and when the leftover fragments were picked up, they filled twelve wicker baskets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Cardinal Perelin is the Vatican Secretary of State, and as such would be the second highest uh, man in the church. He recently gave a lecture in which he said there is a major paradigm shift taking place in the Catholic Church. And to illustrate it, he cited two examples, one which is about to happen and one which has already happened. About to happen in October, the bishops of the Amazon region in South America will gather in Rome for a synod of bishops. They have already drafted the papers that they're going to work from, and in those papers they cite the shortage of priests, and they ask Pope Francis for permission to begin to ordain married men. Pope Francis has already told them that if they ask for it, he will give them permission. And so for the first time in more than a thousand years, we will see married men ordained to the priesthood in the Catholic Church. The second, which has already taken place, is Pope Francis's massive shift on opening communion to divorced and remarried Catholics. Those people have already experienced enough pain with a broken marriage. And then the Church comes along and adds to their pain by telling them they cannot receive communion. You and I were wrongly taught that if we were in the state of grace and we were good and in the old days we fasted, then we could receive communion. In other words, it was a reward for being good. And Pope Francis says, no, it is not. It is the food that sustains us on the journey of life. And so everyone in this room should be coming to the table of the Lord to be fed because we all need to be sustained in the journey of life. And the third major paradigm change which has yet to take place is a change in the governance of the church. We can no longer continue to assume that a group of old men can make all the decisions. Vatican II was 50 years ago, and we're finally beginning to implement it. And Vatican II clearly calls for the involvement of lay people, and women in the decision-making of the church. The Holy Spirit's alive and well. Let's pray that church leadership doesn't